everybody, welcome back to another episode of Jurassic Survival. Today we return with a magical hunting man. I just finished talking to the magical plant of double experience. He's also the magical plant of extra melee damage, but uh, given the fact we're level 33, I'm gonna opt into the extra experience uh, uh, package. But here we are with the hunter continuing to do Hunter Kane's quest line, which will hopefully result in some pretty freaking show eat stuff, including ultimately unlocking the wall. Because at least so far from my knowledge, apparently you have to finish Hunter Kane's quest to actually be able to go to the wall. Because like we've done the invasion, we killed everything there, and uh, yeah, the wall still wasn't unlockable. So there's some weird stuff. So today we begin our hunting journey. We are setting out. We got ourselves a couple of cooked pineapples for the fuel to keep us nice and healthy. Nothing like a cooked and grilled pineapple to really, you know, heal those bullet wounds you might sustain, you know? Uh, we got Holy Death coming over. Not not my main man. I get her! I haven't seen him in a hot minute. I think he's scared now that I can say his name right again. He's like, oh, God, stars back and down. Uh, but why don't we head on over? We need to kill seven Orneoliosuses, and then we can head on back to Hunter Kane and be like, yo, call me the Orneoli exterminator because I just marked them. So that is going to be the game plan. But I hope you guys are going to a fan fantastic day. Absolutely a fan fantastic start to your 2018 as well. Hope you guys' New Year's was amazing. And uh, now begins the hunt for the Orneoliolioliosis. There you go. We got a wonder hit in the batosis. Hey, look at that. 24 out of 20, uh, 30. Mazel tov. We'd have the Velociraptor as well that we got to deal with. Oh, God, not two of them. You guys hurt. No, I don't want to have to use my pineapples because of you. These pineapples are limited edition, man. Also, I've heard people say that apparently light bulbs are a good thing that I should be stockpiling. Uh, apparently, a later quest in Hunter Kane's quest line requires light bulbs. And that is one of those like annoying items that is just totally random. You know, you know the ones I'm talking about, kind of like the thumb drives, like the 100% random items. They really don't do much. Yeah. So I'm going to be making sure that we are opening up all the crates possible as well. Hey, Velociraptor. I'll kill you too because I'm a man for the EXP and what. I got to take five damage for a kill. I'll take that. That's a fair trade-off. What do we got to deal with? Oh, we got a chest up there. Very nice. Saber to tiger. Very nice. High five. High five in your butt of the electric kind. We got another Ornioli, so... I mean, last episode we did some math, and I figured out that you get about seven Orneolis on average per area. So I think we're uh, we're on pace to... Well, we got to find like five, four more, and we'll be Gucci Swaggins to go. But apparently you need like 20 or 30 light bulbs or something for a later quest line. So shouts out to those of you who are like a little bit further down in the Hunter Kane quest line. Uh, if any of you guys are that far, definitely I would love any heads up that you guys might be able to give me so I can make sure to, you know, keep my eyes out for certain types of loot, that type of stuff, so I'm not spending a bajillion years trying to find the light bulbs, because it's not like there's a bunker or anywhere for us to go to in Jurassic Survival like there is in Last Day on Earth. Like, the bunker has a good amount of uh, light bulbs, but here, not really. I've heard that the car crash event does have a good amount of stuff, so we'll keep our eyes peeled for the car crash event, try to go there. Hello, Mr. Ornioli, goodbye. Like some rigatoni. Isn't that a type of pasta? I could roll with some pasta right now. I'm hungry. I, I, I had a small breakfast. I'm just holding out for lunch because I'm going to a food place a little bit later. That's got a special with 60 cent wings. Okay, and I love me some cheap wings. And Zebra, get the hell out of here. Let the, let the real men do the talking. The real dinos. In this case, I am a dinosaur for scientific reasons. Uh, it also looks like we are literally going to be like... One Ornioli short. Bro, don't go breaking my heart like that. Don't go breaking my heart. <gasps> Yay, the final Ornioli attacked us. Bless up, because there was definitely not enough Orneolis for us to go around. <laughs> that was about to take a turn for the not so good, because uh, we cleared this place out. I will look around a little bit more, because I think there should be one more chest. And like I said, I'm the light bulb hunter today. I'm hunting for them antiques and stuff, but... Uh, it's not looking bright. It is not looking bright. So that's all right. If it's not bright, that's all right. I got the rhymes and we'll be all right. I know very, very advanced rhyme scheme. Listen, dude, the rap career, it's got to start somewhere. All right, that's that's what the kids are listening to nowadays. 
All right, is there like Gucci gang, 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 something like that, something like that. I don't know. I don't know. Pete, they 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 like songs with words. I have the best words, so just keep watching my videos, and you will love life, or something like that. I I I don't know, dude. I'm just trying to, I'm just trying to spread some spread some knowledge spread some facts but yeah uh from looking around i have not found much we do also have some dog tags so you know we might be stockpiling those trying to trying to visit the arena a little bit later you know you you may have caught me fandangling a little bit but uh so far i like out of our chest i ain't seeing a very high amount of the light bulbs which is a bad sign because light bulbs are supposedly necessary and when you don't have a lot of something that's necessary it will usually not end well for you. So I've really got to start keeping my eyes peeled. Dude, we have some batteries. Maybe this dude, you know, maybe like ran out of batteries for his TV remote. Who the hell knows? But let's finalize that. So thank you very much. Uh, reward plus 5% to event progress. Oh, you need 20 metal ingots, my man. Do I got you with the hookup on the metal ingots? I think. And if I don't. I will create the metal ingots for you. But yeah, those light bulbs are going to be a big obstacle. So I think that's what it is when it says plus 5% progress to the event. I think that means that uh, there's 20 total quests we have to finish before we unlock the wall. So this is going to be some mad progress we're going to be trying to do. And uh, probably just the most hardcore we're going to be playing Jurassic Survival for quite a while. Uh, there's the 20 metal ingots I can give to you. Not like I got to build anything good anyways finalize that uh 30 velociraptors and there will be what is that you say a pistol waiting for me hmm well we're already what 20 percent of the way there yep we knocked we're 20 percent of the way there because we did four quests which gets four times five is 20 20 percent the five is from the five percent event progress we get so we gotta try and knock them out and then I, i'm just scared like are we gonna have to do the invasion again so I really don't want to have to do the invasion again. That was kind of a pain in the bum, you know? Uh, speaking of pains, I should probably put this stuff away. And this is where I'm thinking. Do we end up going to... Uh, yeah, see, this is where hard, hard decisions have to be made. Do we end up going to yellow zone now? Or uh, I'm not going... Nah, there's, there's plenty of Velociraptors in green zones. And yellow zones are hella more dangerous. So I, I think we'll hold off on that for the time being. Continue stockpiling some of the goodies. Hopefully I see a car... I would love to go to a car, especially if the enemies in the car event are also exactly the types of enemies that we have to kill. That would be mwah, a magnifique. But uh, other than that, where the hell can I? Ah, there we go. All right, beautiful. That's where we can put the stuff. And I guess we'll put the watches in there. And actually, can I get a, let's get a better wrench. All right, I need some high quality tools for this stuff we're doing here. We got a sledgehammer too. I'd say we're looking pretty good to go and we got some extra coins to buy some more energy because like i said today we are gonna be questing and we're gonna be trying to make some dreams come true even though they're my dreams and my dreams might not be the greatest dreams in the world they still be dreams boy so if we gotta adhere to them or something like that i i kind of want to stop by the battle royale arena so hopefully we can finish this velociraptor quest and get like a dillo quest or something because we gotta stop by that arena to uh, pick up our daily dog attack. Because we do get a dog tag a day. Keeps the doctor away, actually. Just can't, keeps the dillos away or whatever the hell. Keeps the dinos away. There we go. Why why go specific when we can go general? It keeps the dinos away. And especially because the Battle Royale event has no dinos in it. So it is hella easy for Chaboy. Now then. We are going to be looking for Velociraptors. And just because we're looking for Velociraptors. We are barely going to find Velociraptors. I'm calling it now. But... Usually, I feel like, oh my god, yeah, we're, it's freaking a saber tooth nest out here. Holy hell, did you guys see my thing just like fling around? Did you see my thing fling? We're also gonna want to make sure to keep popping open these chests, but I think there should be right around the same amount, seven to eight of these guys per area. So I don't think we got too much to worry about. It'll just be a couple areas to go, and some quest progress will be made. Is this a Velociraptor? Yes, sir. -y. See, I like using the electric shocker. Sure, they get one hit off on me, but it ends up being pretty productive. Like, what's one hit when, oh, really? You're going to do that? That's the stupid area. Well, it's not stupid, but that's the area where you can unlock the uh, boss fights and stuff with the, uh, I forget which two, what they're called exactly, but you guys know what I'm talking about. Like, the wandering hunting events. That's, uh, that's the one. 
So I think we're up to like two Velociraptors or one or something. I don't know. Hello. Oh, yeah. Now the Orniolis want to come out and play. Thanks, guys. Couldn't have came out to play a little bit earlier when I needed all of you. That's okay. The Velociraptors want to play a little bit. They want to play a little bit harder than I want to play, but hey, you got to roll with the punches sometimes. Especially when they aren't punches, but more like dinosaur bites with very sharp teeth. That is, uh, that is a definitely. Ooh. All right, but let's continue going through this zone with, oh, mama, we got a little bit of a nest of what appears to be dinosaurs up here. See, I wish we also had to take out Orniolis for, like, some random reason so we could multitask. Like, maybe if I could do multiple quests at a time, that'd be awesome. But you guys could see, like, the Vel Velociraptor population is pretty healthy per green zone, so... I would recommend for these a hey, definitely make sure you get that uh, exp power up as well before you head on out into the world of adventure because that exp power up we've already gotten what two levels listen man I'm not the type of dude to turn down two levels for the low low price of whacking some things with an electric stick all right it's a pretty good deal to me for sure I might not be no bargain hunting bargain hunter using like hardcore couponing dude have you guys ever seen those people like i don't know isn't there like shows of that like the people who do like hardcore couponing where like they walk out of stores with money i don't even know how the hell they manage it it's like an art at this point but uh it's definitely possible and is that an ornioli that looks like a disfigured tail i'll i'll let you actually i'm not gonna let you be i'm, I'm a tussle with you mr zebra so zebra gets to go ornioli gets to go too but yeah those shows are hardcore man absolutely loco now then you know what would be even more loco in a great way some stuff for me to pick up or some velociraptors for me to kill let's be honest i'm more on the velociraptor train at this point i don't know why i didn't hit you already bada bing bada boom you done no and yeah it's looking like it's gonna be a a six velociraptor type of thing unless there's one just chilling here in the bottom corner it's like the one place i haven't checked now yeah, so it looks like we're going to be getting about the same amount of Velociraptors. But hey, it's good to know for future knowledge. Uh, I'm probably... I don't think I'm going to drop stuff off at home. That's going to take a good amount of time. I'm not the type of man to utilize a good amount of time. All right. Ooh. Got a little bit of an airdrop to go to. Oh, it's all the way up north. And I don't know if I'm trying to go up there. Like, sure, they might have a pistol there somewhere, but I might pass. However, I will happily dish out some pain upon the sucker, the mother trucker, who thinks he can come to my home, whose name isn't Ascara, and think that he can chill here. No, uh, uh, uh. The only person with a parking pass at the Swag Park, aka known as Star Snipe Papa Star's base, is the man known as Esqueda. Not even I have a parking pass to my own freaking base. That's how VIP exclusive this is, and that's how importante Esqueda is to me. Now then, uh, we gonna smack the bejesus out of this dude with some cement on a C stick or a stick. Yeah, some cement on a stick. So. Come and tussle, player, player, where art thou, my friend? <laughs> See, they scared. He sees me running around naked like the crazy man I am. Oh, there you at. There you at, holy death. How do you do? Oh, he's going to run away. He's going to run away. No. No. He has one health. Yeah, that's right. Go, go tell your friends. I'm going to beat the bejesus out of you until you got one health left on you. What's up? You done no. I just want that reinforced hunting armor, man. Especially, I feel like it might be useful for that wall event. Whatever the hell might be coming in that wall event, I want to make sure that I am ready for that wall event. Are you ready, Freddy? Well, my name ain't Freddy, but I sure as hell am ready. Now then, back to... Uh, let's go to the stone zone. Not gonna lie, the stone zone has been a little bit friendlier to us. I haven't gotten a car crash event in so long which is the weirdest thing but like i said uh depending on what you guys said like you guys it seemed to be like a relatively big opinion you guys want me to uh whatchamacall you guys want me to like do most of the stuff on camera like continue the quest line but i mean if some stupid stuff like finding light bulbs pops up guys i'm I ain't gonna be going on an Easter egg hunt for light bulbs for 50 episodes because God knows that's how long it's gonna take. You know what I'm saying? Like, I will happily try and find the last couple, but if a situation like that arises, I'm just saying there is a solid chance that I will try and do some off-camera grind. Oh, look at him jump forward. 
poor little Velociraptor. Uh, yeah, the wrench. Well, here's the poopy thing about the wrench. It's gonna take an extra. It's gonna take even with a sneak attack. It's gonna take a lot of hits. That thing's not good for taking out Velociraptors. So let's roll with the sledgehammer until we get a better weapon. Let's do our patrol of the map. If you guys don't know, the way I like to clear out the map is just like kind of go around the edges. Like have the edge on the edge of my map, as weird as that sounds, just roll with it. Uh, I'll use the wrench for taking out other dudes though. That's definitely helpful. Only using the sledgehammer on saber or on Velociraptors. Ornioli, you can get the wrench too, buddy. Sorry, man, you don't get to die the cool way. You ain't a cool kid anymore. I don't have a quest for you, so sorry. Brushing you aside, I know. I'm a savage. Also gathering some meat, which ain't a bad thing, along with the EXP that we be trying to pick up. Is this a Velociraptor up here at least? Oh my God, is this an Ornioli breeding ground? For Jesus sake, what odds out doing? Oh, that was a hard little flop down. All right, let's see what this has got for us. Let's check out the new recipes we unlocked. But yeah, definitely continue to let me know in the comments how you guys want me to like move forward given the fact that like some of these quests might start getting pretty difficult. Like, I'm more than happy to continue playing and all that, especially because, I don't know, it's cool to have a quest line to do, of all things. Like, it's going to require some energy and stuff. What the hell doesn't at this point? But, I mean, if you guys are cool with it, I'm cool with it. Just let me know in the comments. And it's also a great reason to make sure that we're hopping into the game known as Jurassic Survive over once in a while. Hopefully, this thing gets another update soon, too. Like, I'm... I'm not even going to be greedy for updates. Like, this game has been doing pretty close to weekly updates. Something that I used to love Last Day on Earth for. But Last Day on Earth has been slacking a little bit lately. Like, I can't blame them. They've been working on bigger updates and holiday stuff. And it's been the holiday season. But holy hell, man. I remember the magic of the weekly updates with Last Day on Earth. That, those were the days. I don't know what it was. But just knowing that, like, every weekend there'd be something new to do. It was just such an awesome feeling. And I mean, Jurassic Survival really doesn't release on the weekends, but I'm kind of getting that similar feeling that I had with like early last day on earth. And it's kind of awesome because they just has me having high hopes for this game because like they've developed what the invasion event and like a quest line and stuff. So I got a good amount of confidence in the devs of this game because like last day on earth doesn't really have like a quest line like the hunters faction does. So you know, there's really some stuff to show that this isn't just like a copy of Last Day on Earth. Like, oh mama, oh mama, what's attacking me? Get out of here, Ornioli, I'm done with your shenanigans, but it's a great way to show that it's not a, just a blatant copy of Last Day on Earth, is that they're adding in their own events that are completely different and definitely not copied from Last Day on Earth. Like a quest line? I'm sorry, dude. Like, Last Day on Earth kind of had quests with the Smuggler's Camp, but a quest line? That is something where Jurassic Survival is innovating. Battle Royale, maybe that was hidden somewhere in the code. That's something that like some people were speculating on. I, I don't know. But at the end of the day, the game's fun. I like it. And it doesn't just copy Last Day on Earth music. Looking at you, Last Day on Earth 2.0. Holy hell, that game did not even try to be different. It changed the camera angle a little bit. Uh, I think its latest version is called Law of Survival. Or something like that. Dude, there's even less Velociraptors here than the last one. I think we killed four. Are you kidding me? The Velociraptor population, holy hell, they've gone into hiding. They know I got a quest out for them. They're like, oh, hell nah, Papa Star coming for us. We got to get the hell out of here, boy. And you know that they're running for the hills. Well, uh, sorry to say that they ran so far. It makes our lives a little bit harder, but so be it. You know, because at the end of the day, the satisfaction of victory will still be just as sweet. If not sweeter. Velociraptor, maybe? No. It's only an Ornioli. See, when we get Dillos as our uh, hit target for this quest line, though, that's when we'll start going to the level two zones. When we get Ankylosaurs, that's when we maybe start going level three. When we get... Is there an equivalent of the Toxic Abomination in this game? I don't know. The, the highest dinosaur I've seen is the Ankylosaur, so not 100% sure. And we got some of the good events popping up now. Might want to make a trip to the T-Rex nest. Might not be worst idea in the world. That thing rarely pops up, but there's also the thing where maybe a car crash pops up. I'd love to go to a car crash because those things kind of have better loot. And supposedly I've heard people say they have the mythical light bulbs that we're going to be needing down the line. So really at this point, I'm just saying stockpile everything because God knows what random object this hunter will have an obsession with. So just be prepared for that. Also, almost at another level. Heat, heat. That's awesome. Ooh. 
can make sledgehammers if we want a home brewery. Oh man, we can. It's got a skin and stuff. We can make a hammock though. Hold on, that's actually pretty dope. Uh, a trunk. Kinda would not mind the trunk. A uh, new pistol. We need weapon parts. I don't think I've even seen weapon parts in this game yet. We're still like cavemen, all things considered, but we're cavemen with a large supply of cooked pineapples. And that is not the type of caveman you want to tussle with. That's the type of caveman you want to be friends with. Because he'll be the type of caveman. Yeah, 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 yeah. We got a crash car to go to. And it's 13 energy away, which means we got the perfect amount of energy to go there, which is awesome. Bum, ba -da -bum, ba -bum. Hopefully, if we're lucky, it'll even be a Velociraptor car crash. Ooh. Friends, comrades, if this is Velociraptor car crash, we are in business. <laughs> That's perfect, though, dude. We're using just the right amount of energy. And if all goes well, this might go even better. So I'm going to put some stuff away and uh, maybe armor up for what's to come. Because this, this usually ain't no pushover type of thing, you know? All right, boys and girls, here's the situation. We're running in shirtless with the... Do we still have the P90? Hell yeah, we're bringing the P90 because that thing is easily the worst gun in the game. Sorry. Six damage. Like, the attack speed is beyond dope. But just the damage is just does not do it any favors, man. So we got... Uh, you know, let's bring a slightly better pistol here. We should have the tools along with the sledgehammer to really capitalize. I don't want to bring too much with me. So, you know what I'll actually do? We'll we'll put the tuna away or whatever the hell type of canned meat that is. Freaking mystery meat looking. I don't even know. Still got the scar saved up. We might be able to scrap that one day. I, I guess we'll bring the meat with us because I can't find a quick place to drop it off on. But this car crash might be our salvation especially if we go there with a pretty empty inventory and we don't pick up all the cans and wrenches that are always there because for some reason the crash car just always has those but look at this man this is why i love jurassic survival look at the variety of events you got a car crash to go to you got a t rex nest to go to you got an airdrop to go to you got the freaking battle royale place to go to like jurassic survival with each update like, I like the fact that they're focusing on events and stuff because when they randomly pop up, it just gives you stuff to do. Like, Last Day on Earth, like, I think Jurassic Survival might have a better event variety than Last Day on Earth at the moment, which is really saying something. Now, please be Velociraptors because that would make my life so much easier. Come on, game. Come on, game. Come on. Not an Ornioli. Dang it, man. Are you serious? I was expecting better company, at least. I brought the perfect weapon for wiping these dinguses out. <laughs> a freaking sledgehammer. Like, maybe the boss Ornioli might be a bit on the different side, but these guys, total pushovers. Now, uh, Orniolis, where you boys at? Don't even tell me you're just throwing three of you at me. Oh, there, we got, oh, we got the boss man Ornioli. Okay, we got to take out some of the babies first. The babies got to go. No, I'm trying to attack the other dudes. I'm getting surrounded, though. Oh, my God. Not the boots. Not the boots. Those are new. I got them for Christmas or for New Year's. I don't know. Oh, does this guy give a lot of XP after we kill him? So I've never killed this guy with the EXP boost on. So let's find out. Nope, just 100 EXP. Totally 100% normal and lame. That's okay. At least we took out all these dinguses. Let's grab what we can get. And let's open on some of these things in peace. So now that we're not getting eaten alive and... I mean, if you come prepared, well, we wiped that place out with uh, really not that bad. Oh, is that light bulbs? That's the light bulbs we need. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. What else we got going here? Batteries. I feel like batteries might be valuable down the line, but light bulbs start stockpiling them. Word around the street. You need 20 of them puppies. And uh, well, those are the first two I have yet to find. But just make sure whenever you see a car crash event, definitely go for it. Because so far, it looks like light bulbs are definitely something that spawns here. Which is a great sign. Maybe we'll even get lucky and there'll be something even better in the car. Or more light bulbs. No, nine of the light bulbs. Uh, oh, isn't there going to be Havea fruit here, though? I forgot about that. We're stockpiling that stuff, too, for the uh, taming pen. Havea fruit. Yeah, a little bit of that. Ooh, a Band-Aid. Hold on. I'm going to drink some water. I don't, have, I don't gotta go home with water. Are you kidding me? I look like a man who requires water. I look like a man who requires hydration. I'm above hydration boy but uh let's go ahead uh we are gonna have to do a little bit of a walk home i actually gotta go and get some food though so this is gonna be a couple seconds for you guys but i'm gonna go pop on out for a couple hours we'll be back with some energy to spare and uh ooh, or maybe we just run to the t-rex event i'm kind of thinking we do that so 
I'll buy some more energy and uh, we'll kick things off with the T-Rex event as soon as I'm done. Sound good? Sound great, so don't go anywhere. We shall return. And with a hell of a lot more energy in our pocket, let's head into the T-Rex and I'll see what this has for us. Then I'm thinking after this, we'll uh, make sure to pick up our free dog tag from the Mad Dogs Arena. And from there, we'll go out and use the rest of our energy trying to acquire the uh, Zavans. Zavans known as the Velociraptors. And if we're lucky, we will be able to finish those shenanigans today. And if you're not lucky, it's okay. We'll make great progress towards this quest and towards awesome things. And a T-Rex apparently smells me. Well, guess what? I'm an expert in the craft of using this stuff because uh, Battle Royale has taught me how to properly utilize the blades of grass, how to be one with nature, how to be one with the grass. I am quite the expert at that. Is it just me or are we looting these things like hella quick now? I'm not crazy, right? This is going very suspiciously quickly. Yeah, okay. I'll just make sure that we didn't miss any other potential chests, and then we'll go for the big one. We'll go. Actually, the hell with it. Let's go for the big one right now. Cross your fingers that all is well. Where is the egg? Oh, it's probably down there. I think that is... Yeah, oh, oh, wait. Where's this T-Rex at, boy? I, I, how do I have one bar? Okay, come on. I want to say that the T-Rex is the, the, the egg... Is it here? Dude, it's gotta be here, man. Oh, mama! Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. Oh. Will we be able to finesse this thing? Oh. Uh, if it starts stamping towards us, maybe not. Is it stamping this way? Oh, goodness gracious! There's multiples. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no! Oh, oh, oh! We've been spotted! Run for the hills, boys! This is not looking good for me! If I die, so be- Oh, what?! He should have been stuck on the tree. Dang it! All right. Do we head back there? Try to get his stuff back? Is that even a question? Of course we're heading back there. And uh, that's that sucks because that is a little bit of a waste of the energy. But it's okay. We will come out on top. And that is what matters. So come! We must go back there. I don't think we lost anything too important. I think we put away... Yeah, I'm pretty sure we went there butt naked. Uh, yeah, if you guys don't know, always go there butt naked. And also, I want to get back there as soon as possible because that timer is running. And if you guys don't know the reason that uh, the timer is still there, whenever you're currently at an event, like you can see the timer right now is like 8.55, 8.54. Uh, it'll stay at 8.54 seconds as long as you're there. So after you die and you respawn there, even if you've been here for like half an hour, it'll still say 8.54. So that's just kind of like a good way of allocating resources, making sure you're ready that type of stuff uh my computer's telling me that it, i have to update my computer no thank you computer definitely not now when i'm recording my audio off you thank you very much uh now the t-rex should be probably i don't know i wonder if both of them you might be able to get them to chase you because i think right now the t-rex is is this the giant opening i believe this is oh this is good nope nope not good started good then end. oh god okay because the T-Rex is... There's, of course, the one, the T-Rex, that just murdered us in cold blood. That one definitely exists. Anytime it says the T-Rex smells us, that's usually a very bad sign. Because that is when things go very poorly. Okay. Woo! Talk about a close call. Now, how about that dead body? See, usually those T-Rexes patrol the hell out of that dead body. Uh, not today. Give me that jazz. Equip that. And give me the empty can as well. Now! Can I please get the stuff in the middle? Oh, God. Maybe not. I wonder if you could even kill these T-Rexes. Oh, I'm going for it. I'm gunning it. I'm gunning it. Go, 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 go. We got the scales. Get, get, get. We got to go. Got to run through all the, the bushes. That'll give us temporary cover. Holy hell. That's some saving private James Bond style of stuff. Also, I heard a weird noise. Did you guys hear that? No clue what that was. But all right, let's head back home. I'll drop these goodies off and reminder with the newest update we can actually trade these things in for dog tags now the question is do we want to trade them in for dog tags or trade them into the trader level up the trader like we got options here to play with which is actually pretty cool so we got to use some energy to run there after that we're gonna have to run over to mad dogs and for mad dogs we can probably head on over to a level one zone maybe we could get one more so it is gonna be a bit lengthier of an episode i hope that you guys enjoy if you are make sure you hit that like button you know, let's let's share the love. Share the like. No, we we don't share love here. We share like, baby. That's what we share. No, we can share the love too. But share that, baby, and make that positivity way more widespread. And whoo, 
I like when I'm seeing out the green scales. Those are making me a happy camper. I uh, should be able to put some of these things away. We got some more band-aids from that suicide run. That's always productive. Um, we got some food we can put away. We got some seeds. Probably put the seeds where they belong. Which is in the dirt. Put them in the dirt. Yeah, let's do that. We do have some more pineapple as well if we need it. Will we need it? Maybe. Who knows? And uh, just put away the rest of our stuff. And all right, our inventory is starting to look pretty good. Sure, we're going to need to pick up probably a couple of viable weapons. Luckily for us, we got hella sledgehammers. And these things are pretty good. Actually, if we want to take out velociraptors, I feel like a kukri might be a good bet. Because that thing does 30 damage, so sneak attack. And it does usually last pretty long. So I like that about it as well. We can put some band-aids away. The band-aid stockpile is starting to look pretty all right, all right, all right. And other than that, yeah. I'd say we're looking pretty good. Not not really any other, like, melee weapons. I don't think there's any melee weapons that do 27 damage. And if there is, I'm obviously forgetting about them. But we'll bring the melee weapons that we need to bring. We got a ton of those watches, by the way. Didn't even realize that. Uh, equip those bad boys. We got the pan over here to take care of the ordeoliosis with. I know that it won't one-hit them, but a little bit of ornioli damage never, never killed nobody. And if it did... Well, I don't think they'd be talking about it because that is an embarrassing way to die. All right, a horde of Orneolis, that's respectable. Like, get a car crash, that's okay. All right, if you're dying to a lone Ornioli, we gotta, uh, we gotta talk there, buddy. We gotta talk. So we'll be able to head on over to Mad Dogs Arena. Cop ourselves that free thing. Make sure you guys are going to Mad Dogs every day. Honestly, what I might suggest is that when you do log off for the day, ah, depends on how much you play, but I'd suggest maybe logging off in Mad Dogs because if you play like once a day, then, like, when you pop back in, you know, the free dog tag will still be there. And just make sure you're getting that. I mean, I guess the dude the dude does give you, like, some clothes, too. Like, don't get me wrong. Pretty poopy clothes. But uh, will he ever learn? Player 1513. He, uh, he is not learning. Thank you very much for the dog tags and for a little bit of that. And for a club as well. Look at that. Our adventure's already starting off right. Uh, ooh, that reminds me. Mr. Trader. What would you like today? Ooh, I have definitely not enough of those. Those claws, I was lucky enough to have enough of. But, Mr. Scavenger. Yeah, don't say a word to Jekyll. Isn't Jekyll this dude? I think this dude Jekyll. Yeah, you crazy dude making people fight and stuff. This guy, on the other hand, is this Hyde? Hyde, my man. You are a, you are a fly dude. Look at him. He's got, like, a skull on him and a top hat. I don't know about you, if I see a dude with a skull and a top hat, I know that A, they mean business, and B, they mean business. Get it? Because business, businessman, but also like business, like, yeah, I, I mean what I say, you know? <laughs> Got him! No, I didn't. Absolutely awful. It's okay. I'll I'll go sh shlink into a hole or something and, uh, oh, wow, we're not going to be able to get there in time. Can we get it here in time? Hey, how the hell is that shorter? Doesn't matter. Let's go there, use the very last itty bitty of our energy, and then we'll head home to what will be Calter attacking us or something like that. Stupid Calter, why are you attacking me at our base? Where's a scatter? I need some scatter in my life, but let's try and get the very last of these Velociraptors, and at the very least, get halfway done with this quest. So, next episode, we can knock it out of the park and uh, make sure that we are keeping our eyes peeled for the light bulbs. I'm going to be trying to do more car crash events uh, as well. All right, then. The hunt begins. What is this? A velociraptor? Well, already victim numero uno. See you later, velociraptor. Uh, hopefully, we'll get some light bulbs from here. If, if any of you guys know, by the way, where we can get light bulbs, like we have confirmed uh, in today's episode, literally, that you can get them on a car crash events. But if you guys know of any other places to get your hands on those things, please let me know. Because they will that will supposedly be quite valuable down the line. And I like value. And let's get an Ornioli home run and this time around. Oh, yeah, dude. This bat came in clutch. I'm happy we visited the arena. Not only did we get an awesome baseball bat to take out Orniolis with, but we also got our free dog tag. But, yeah, if you guys know where we can get light bulbs most consistently, I'd love to know. I'm sure everyone in the comments would love to know as they continue doing this quest line home run. And uh, I don't know, man. I don't know. But all I know is that I'm excited. Not even excited. I'm exhilarated to see what that wall event is. And if any of you guys ever finish that quest line, A, let me know the hardest things that should be stockpiled. And B, 
Let me know what the hell to expect at that place, because I don't think anyone knows what's coming when we finally reach the wall. Some people are even saying, you know, that maybe it's not even in the game yet, something like that. And where are you people coming from? All right, fine, I'll fight you this way. God, doing extra damage to me and stuff, but... Yeah, it might not even be in the game. Maybe you can't even finish his fight. Like, maybe one of the quests is with an item that isn't in the game. Kind of like the ATV transmission in Last Day on Earth, you know? Could be possible. Could definitely see it happening. Uh, so let's kill you. Take out your brethren. We're doing pretty good Velociraptor-wise, though. But, yeah, I really hope that's not the case. That would make me quite the uh, sad panda. Because I really do want to see what this event has. And hopefully we'll be able to find out. Hopefully it'll be good loot. Because I remember on the minimap... Or not on the mini map, but on the full size map, it says that it's like, I don't know. It's got like three out of three when it comes to like the loot rating. You know, places have different ratings for like the loot they have or like how hard they are, how much stone they got, all that jazz. Uh, it had a three out of three loot rating, so I got pretty high, pretty high hopes. Oh no, this guy noticed me. I thought maybe I could go a bit under the radar. That's all right. I got some mangos. I am the mango man. After all, I always come prepared to what could be a future predicament. And is that maybe another Velociraptor up there too? Or is that an Orny? Oh no, we got another Velociraptor right after this one too. Hell yeah. Things are looking pretty middlehouse with a grand total of 18. Get out of here, Orny Oli. I'm done hunting your peoples, all right? The Hunter's Faction does not want me hunting your peoples now. We are hunting Velociraptors. So if there could be even more, that'd be dope. Aw, the Saber 2 Tiger got me excited. It's all right. Everyone needs a little bit of batting practice and I mean, what better, what better ball to use than the living body of a saber-toothed tiger? <laughs> exactly, that's what I'm saying. And it appears that we have already cleared this place out. So, without further ado, let us begin the walk home. Before we do that, I think it is, I think we gotta, we gotta wave a goodbye. So, we're gonna continue making progress towards this wall event. And continue, hopefully, getting into some car crashes. and Not getting into some car crashes, but finding some car crashes. That we can capitalize on that's what i meant and uh some jazz like that but other than that that is gonna go ahead and wrap it up for this episode of jurassic survival hope that you guys enjoyed if you did hit that like button let me know in the comment section down below but that's gonna go ahead and do it for me for now thank you guys all the time for watching as a fantastic day and i'll talk to you in the next one see ya